Welcome to our fifth section. And uh, yes, on, on we go. Then after this fifth session, we have 10 other sessions to go. I say I'm exhausting all the secret uses of the Psalms. Would you please hit on the notification bell and then subscribe and share. Subscribe, hit the notification bell and share. Because I'm giving this as a gift to nature. Please, you cannot afford to miss it. Please invite people to come and be a partaker of this. Because, you know, I say to, to share, to share does not diminish you. It rather increases you. You understand? Some people, when they have knowledge, they want to hide them. No, we've passed. We are now in the Piscean Aquarium age. And it is an age of wisdom where toddlers are now having what had taken uh, fathers years to obtain. Now, toddlers are uh, holding up. This is the age of wisdom, the Aquarium age. So please share and then invite those of you on uh, my Facebook group. Invite some of your friends to join so that we can all learn together. It will be of good to you. It will not diminish you. It will rather increase you. Thank you. And then uh, let's go on with our faith session. We ended at uh, Psalm 50. Today we will have a look at Psalm 51. Psalm 51 is to free yourself from guilt. It's used for the remission of sin. And then it's used to avoid doing wrong. And then to for the confession of a grievous sin. Psalm uh, 51 is uh, for confession of a grievous sin. Then uh, to quiet the uh, pang of a guilty conscience. To, to quiet the pangs of a guilty conscience. Yes, yeah, Psalm 51 was uh, written by King David when he went into uh, Bathsheba and killed Uriah. That is when he wrote that psalm. So, virtually, it's used for uh, 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 quieting uh, the pangs of a guilty uh, conscious. Then Psalm 52 is when you are suffering from injustice. You also can recite Psalm 52 to bring raid from a culminous action. And then it is also used to receive help in need. Psalm 52 is against slanders and witchcraft. And then Psalm 52 is also used to become free from lies and slanders. Psalm 53 is to expose all of your, your seen and unseen enemies. If you have a seen and unseen enemies and you want to expose them, Psalm 53 is your psalm. It's also used to revenge upon your enemies. And then it's used to affirm your love of God. And that is used to instill love of God in your heart. Psalm 54 is used to help in time of need and then to master one's negative thoughts and then to revenge against enemies. Psalm 55 is to render evil for evil. Then that is retaliation. Then it's used to obtain help and then create havoc among evildoers. Psalm 55 is to overcome fear of death. And when deserted by friends, you can use Psalm 55. And when uh, worries deluge us, we can use Psalm 55. Psalm 56 is used to release oneself from bond of passion and then turn away wicked plots. And then when tempted towards evil lust and sexual passion, when you are tempted towards evil uh, towards evil lust and sexual passion. You can use Psalm 56. Psalm 57 is for the good fortune in all undertakings. And then it's used to forget a past love, you know, to heal from a past love. You see, it's also used for mercy from God. Psalm 58 is used to control a vicious dog or to distinguish the poison. Excuse me, it's not this, it's to extinguish the poison of a vicious dog. It's used to suppress liars, and then it's used also to protect yourself from uh, wild animals. Psalm 59 is to make your mind more positive and free from uh, depression. It is also used against hooliganism and waywardness. Psalm 59 is to destroy the power of enemies, and it's used to regain wealth. Psalm 59 is also used to guard against possession 
and then it is also used to free from sinful inclination and passion. Sinful inclination and passion. Psalm 60 is used to escape injury of weapons, eating guns, knives, and then to put the past behind. Psalm 60 is used to, uh, as a strength in time of temptation. And then Psalm 60 can protect you from injury at work. It is also to be used to, uh, by combat soldiers, policemen, and armed guards. Psalm 60. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Baruch Hashem. Stay blessed.